So uh, a quick update. There's a quite a bit of footage from uh, the Egyptian side uh, and uh, interesting footage and I'll be trying to put something together. Of course we've just arrived in Gaza last night and uh, words simply cannot describe how it feels to be back here. Uh, brought tears to my eyes. I feel like this is my home more than any other place and uh, I don't know if I can speak for myself. It just feels such a blessing and I uh, really want to make the most of this time. We had problems on the Egyptian side as per usual. Uh, those of us who were kidnapped and taken to Greece, uh, most of us were not able to make it back in into uh, to meet the convoy and uh, some of us, three of us actually managed it. And we got to Egypt but they would not let us regroup with the convoy at the airport or at the port. Uh, we had to push and push and finally what we had to do was jump in the vans as they traveled from uh, the port at El Arish to Rafa. Once we got to Rafa they let us all in through the gate into Rafa crossing and uh, over the course of several hours uh, it was determined by the Egyptians we were not going to be allowed through the three of us including myself. And um, because we stood firm quite frankly, because people remained steadfast, we managed to all of us get in and uh, had it not been for that we simply would not have all got in and of course the mission was always the most important thing but I can't deny the fact that I, I wanted badly to get in, you know, obviously being on the Mavi Marmara I thought we would get into Gaza back then, it didn't happen and uh, coming this time to be 200 meters from Gaza and not make it was really painful to think about it but as it turns out, uh, what a blessing uh, when they said, okay, you all go to go as the, the final complete unit that we had. We had many, including uh, Laura and another uh, brothers from Ibrahim who were on the Mavi Marmara who were not allowed in. Um, I feel for them and they're with us in spirit. This is wrong. Anyone who is invited by the Palestinians to come to Palestine has a right to be here. And uh, blocking them is just not acceptable. So this needs to change. But for now, focused on positive things, uh, I have a project that I'll be announcing soon and I look forward to showing that to the world because it is the most powerful plan yet, in my opinion, to really break this blockade. And at the end of the day, that is number one task. This blockade must end. And it, it really is a matter of when, not if. We're going to break this blockade. So I make the most of my time here and uh, build on the connections and uh, family that I have. And uh, well, I look forward to sharing more with you over the next month that I plan to be in Gaza. Thank you.